This is the attention. Do I got anybody? Say it. Gadget Gurus Network. Hey everyone, it's Jeff Farina, and you know what? It's been a while since I made an unboxing video, and this one's kind of a joke, um, only because I was talking to Bill Stebbins, um, one of the hosts of the simulcast last night, about me getting a touchpad from a friend of mine. Um, he was able to secure two of them and uh, gave one over to me. And for those of you who don't know, this is a discontinued product. HP bought Palm, created the touchpad, which is their, their version of the iPad, killed it off last week, WebOS, um, the hardware for WebOS, because they weren't selling very well. Best Buy had around 200,000 of these guys and sold maybe 2,000. Before the fire sale took place, HP marked these things down 200 bucks and they became a hot item all of a sudden, and they're extremely hard to get now. They're going on eBay for three, $400, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me when you can buy an iPad for that price used. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So because Bill wants me to do an unboxing video, and because many of you, let's face it, want to see an unboxing video of a product that's dead and that's been out for three months, let's go ahead and unbox this. So this is a true unboxing, as always I do in my fashion. As you can see, there's still some tape here. It's still sealed up. So it's probably going to be dead. I've been advised that it's probably dead out of the box. So what I'm going to have to do is most likely plug it in to my USB hub to get some kind of power to it so that I can show you guys what's going on. This is the 16 gig model. As you can see, there's really nothing interesting on this box whatsoever. Basically blank around all the sides. Nothing there, nothing there. Just some information here. Now, today is August 25th. I'm looking, actually have to cut these seals. Today is, is August 25th, and there's actually a, I guess you could call it a bounty, if you will, out on a few websites for the first person to hack the touchpad to run Android. Um, right now, at least last time I saw it, it was at $2,150. So if you're able to hack this device and put Android on it, you will get two grand. So considering a lot of the people that modify Android, the engines of the world and, and, and that sort of thing, they do a lot of this stuff on the weekends in their spare time. So for $2,000, someone's gonna get paid. It's only a matter of time before it's actually modified to run that. Now I'll tell you right now, this tape is a pain. This is the same exact knife I used for all my unboxings. This tape is a pain. I already dented the box over here. So it's a huge pain to cut through. So it looks like that's been cut. The box actually slides out here. Go ahead and move this knife out of the way, close it up. Get it moved out of the way. So it slides right out. Now there's a little diagram on top of the touchpad, which shows you, once I get it back into the view here, power button, if your volume rocker up and down, and you have the gesture area. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. Now the touchpad, for those of you who don't know, is plastic. Uh, it's not even soft touch, it's a glossy plastic. So you know, not only does it cost less than the iPad, it's also much cheaper feeling than an iPad. It costs less now. HP had this guy 500 bucks when it first came out. Put that aside for now. Now we have a box here. All the manuals. Now you've seen many, many of these manuals in the past, so we're going to put this aside. And then last but not least, on the left side, we have the power, which is a micro. So at least they're up to times with that. It's a micro USB cable, as you can see there. And here's the wall adapter, USB in. Prongs actually fold right out. These used to have the Palm logo on them right here back when it was the Pre. Well, now it's HP, but you, there's no HP logo. They do make what's called a touchstone charger, which is actually a charger that charges based on proximity. So all you do is it's kind of like a pedestal almost. Um, you put your touchpad right on that stand and it will charge wirelessly through the stand to your touchpad. I'm hoping to get my hands on one, but just like the stock of the touchpad, the accessories are getting harder and harder to find as well. Um, I tried to get a case, can't find it right now. It's sold out at all the Best Buys around me, so may have to look online and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and get the touchpad back into the full frame here. I'm going to peel this cover off. Now, as I mentioned, just as I mentioned, you're looking at a glossy plastic. 
which not only looks but feels cheap, but hey, it is what it is. The nice big HB logo on the back, some scuff marks already, looks like it's from the glue. Um, on the top here, this is also thicker than the iPad, I will compare it in later videos. Top side here we have the power button, nothing else across. It looks like almost a microphone port right there, so, you know, noise canceling, not sure though. Headphone jack there. On this side we have some speakers, one speaker here, another there. I believe this does have the Beats by Dre um, that HP was working with, so the sound is supposedly going to be pretty good. We'll test that out. On the bottom, you have the micro USB. On the side, we have the volume up and down rocker, which give it a nice snap sound when you try and use them. Let's go ahead and see if it turns on. I doubt it has any juice. Oh, and we are getting the HP logo. Now, as you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Now what's very cool about the touchpad, and I actually didn't show it on the camera, there's a little gesture area slash home button. What's very cool about the way HP, and actually I think believe Palm had this working with the pre before HP bought them, they have what's called Synergy, which brings all of your accounts, whether it be Gmail, Yahoo, Dropbox, Exchange, even MobileMe, etc., into one place. So it'll bring all of those accounts onto your touchpad for you. Uh, they'll also, they also give you a 50 gigabyte box.net account for free by buying a touchpad. So that's one added perk right there uh, that you now have a 50 gig box.net account. One point that I heard mentioned today is that the touchpad has a Kindle app. It's in beta, it's not official at this point, uh, but it does have a Kindle app. Now, if you were to think about the price of a Kindle, the ad supported version, which I believe is $115, you can get a color touchscreen Kindle by using this with the Kindle app for only 100 so that's not bad. Not bad at all. Now this is just still starting up. We're going to see what happens. HP logo is now flashing if it's not coming up through on the camera. And we're now booted up. It looks like my model here does have some juice in the top so we should be good to go. Now one thing I was actually reading today on a few of the tech sites, there's been I believe three touchpads so far that have been opened up with Android already loaded on them. Right out of the box, fully wrapped. So it seems like HP was actually experimenting with Android on these devices. I'm going to go ahead and confirm we're from the U.S. And wants me to join a wireless area. Now I have a private Wi-Fi network, so I'm going to go ahead and enter those details now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and entered the wireless network details. As you can see, one thing I just want to note, you have the number pad at the very top, the number row, which is nice. And you can actually change the size of the keyboard, uh, which I can get into later on. Go ahead and sign in here. I'm going to accept these nice terms and conditions. And the scroll speed doesn't seem that bad here. Now, one thing I have read and heard is that it's great to turn off, I guess there's some background services that are constantly logging just in case there's a crash with this device. So if you turn off those background services, it'll speed up the device itself. There's also an update that they put out soon after release, so that will speed things up too. Uh, I plan to put preware on here, which is essentially jailbreaking, uh, just to make some modifications of my own. And who knows, maybe there'll be some apps on there, especially with this being a dead device. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my, my WebOS account. All right, now that I've signed in, it wants me to accept the Google Terms and Conditions, which at quick glance, looks like it's for location services uh, with the maps, navigation, camera, and just type, which is the search function. So if I search for pizza, for example, uh, it will use my location to find the closest pizza place. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. I have no problem with that. Now it wants to name our device um, for devices that can be changed later. So I'm going to change this to Jeff's touchpad. Now the keyboard, from what I've used so far, I actually like. Uh, the screen doesn't seem as accurate as an iPad, for example. But so far, I do. The keyboard feels responsive for the most part. I uh, definitely have to get used to where the symbols are and that sort of thing. OK, now we're all set up. It's going to restart the device. All right, we're now fully booted up. As you can see here, we have some of the Shortcut icons down at the bottom. This will be the menu uh, to bring up everything. And there's actually the Kindle app already loaded on here. 
which is pretty nice. Um, as you can see there's an apps, a download section, which brings you to the app catalog. You can set your favorites and the settings. So what I'm going to do right now is just get my Synergy accounts all set up. And then I'll get pre-wear working on here, put it into developer mode and go through all those motions. Uh, what I'll also do is when I come back after doing all that, give you guys a look at the touchpad itself software wise, being the browser, the performance, the whole nine yards. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video and you want to see the next video in the series, I know it's a dead device, but hey, you know, it's, it's all in fun. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, you can catch me every Wednesday on the Simulcast podcast and at pocketnow.com with the latest smartphone reviews. Thanks for watching everyone.